our calendar of things today is Popeye Day. It marks the first time the sailor appeared in a comic strip. Popeye debuted in a comic strip called Thimble Theater on this date in 1929. The spinach-eating, muscle-bound sailor quickly became a fan favorite and soon the series started to center itself on him. The character was created by an artist called E.C. Seeger. It became a long-running comic book series, and in the mid-90s, uh, Maynard got the chance to write for that series. Ron Fortier said the character had been around about 65 years when he got his shot, but he still found something new to say when he got to explore Popeye's family. The hook with Popeye was ultimately no one had ever told us who his mother was. <laughs> so I got to write wow. the origin story and showed Popeye being born and who his mother was. Born dead. We knew who Poop Deck Pappy was, his right. father, right? So as it turns <laughs> out, his mom is Roxanne Crusher, a roller derby queen. <laughs> That's, you did have fun with that one. Oh, very much so. But the owners of those things, like Popeye, must really keep a close eye on what you do. I mean, they have some say in it, right? Actually, King Features was very, very broad-minded wow. as far as what we could do. As Pretty long, cool. Right, as long as it was funny and in good nature, and we kept the spirit of the character, <laughs> and they were okay with that. Popeye wasn't just limited to the funny pages, of course. There were animated productions for both the big and the small screens, video games, radio plays, and, of course, the Popeye movie. Yeah, in 1980, director Robert Altman helmed a production of the film with comedian Robin Williams playing the part of Popeye, Shelley Duvall as Olive Oil, and Harry Nilsson doing the soundtrack. While the film did make its money back, it's largely considered a flop. In 2010, writer Mitch Zuckoff authored a biography of Robert Altman. He explained to Rob Caldwell how the film actually came together. <laughs> Hey, your mother's here? So what? You better not meet you, man. Robin Williams' first major film role. He is Mork from Ork in most people's remembrance at that time. And, you know, the studio wanted a Superman-like film. They wanted to say, okay, we've got a comic book hero. Let's make it. But somehow they decided, let's have Robert Altman make it. So from the very beginning, it was never going to be that kind of popcorn, you know, moneymaker. A bar in Portland used to bear the pop icon's name. Popeye's Ice House was in the West End at the base of the Casco Bay Bridge. It had a plane's fuselage sticking out of the roof there. The bar was a frequent source of complaints for people in the neighborhood. The city, in fact, voted not to renew their liquor license. A strong windstorm in the spring of 2007 knocked that plane down. The cable snapped and the fuselage, an actual relic of a plane crash in 1973, made its final landing right there in Popeye's yard. And of course, we have one more Popeye-related story for you. It's from 30 years ago in Rockland. It's how the community kind of came together to help a guy out. Here's Christina Hager. His real name is Morris Lindsay, but most people call him Popeye. Popeye. He's played the part of the spinach-eating sailor at the Maine Lobster Festival in Rockland for 45 years, and you can see why. <laughs> Lindsay is 63 years old and partially deaf. He's lived in this house all his life and always paid taxes. But this year, he lost track of his finances and didn't pay Uncle Sam. Basically, his friends say he didn't know he had to. So you can see why he was confused when he lost his house. The city took it for back taxes. So finally, friends and relatives helped him figure out his taxes and pay them. But now the city won't let him move into his home until it meets building codes. And that's how these 35 volunteers fit in. They've got less than a week to renovate this dilapidated house so Lindsay can have a home again. We put in all new plumbing, all new electrical. Um, you know, they've even donated a complete new kitchen for him. Lindsay, who's lost his voice, has a hard time expressing his appreciation, but he knows he's in good hands. What do you think of all this? Right. Doing a lot of work. Yeah. Work and $5,000 in donations to pay for all the materials. But these volunteers say that's nothing compared to all the happiness Popeye has brought to Rockland for nearly half a decade. Gotta love Maine and its small town stories. Time and again, we see people coming out to help their neighbors. Also, $5,000 in in utilities, in equipment to do all that construction 30 years ago. Yeah. Now, it would That's be... That's a lot. Yeah. A lot now, Big yeah. Big difference.